and welcome into Getting Help from Uncle Sam. You know if you're watching this show, you're probably 50 years of age or older. Well, you could be a little younger, but it's pr principally for people 50 years of age and older. And nice thing about this audience, there's a big word that's a part of our lives. We call it values. We embrace values. But recently when I talked to a lot of people, one of the biggest concerns they have is that maybe we're losing some of our values. Well, there's good news. There's an organization there that fights for those values. It's called Eagle Forum. And the executive director, state director for Eagle Forum in Alabama is our good friend Becky Garrett said, so good to have you back. Thank you so much. In another much. role. Yes, it's I, wonderful I, to be back. I've, I've had you here when you were getting the tea party up and running, and yes. then we did have you here. And you know, I think it was what, in 2013 when you testified before the House yes. of Representatives? Yes. And, and then when I ran and, for Congress in absolutely, 2016. Absolutely. That's right. You had My me goodness. Back on. Yes. Holy Christmas. Yes. <laughs> it moves on and on, huh? I just keep changing hats. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Well, and again, we want to say, for the if viewers didn't see it, Go back into the archives and look up that, because you did an excellent job representing what was happening. And now this is back in 2013. Yes. And guess what, folks? Things haven't changed a whole lot, have they? Yes. The deep state was at work uh, it, targeting right. our conservative Tea Party yes, at the time. Yes. And so I had the opportunity to testify before Congress about that. And right. Wow. It's still happening. There are still things like that happening. Well, for the viewers that don't know what Eagle Forum is all about, give us a quick background on it and then some of the things you're addressing. Well, Eagle Forum was a national organization that was started in the early 70s by Phyllis Schlafly. Mm -hmm. Your viewers may remember her as yes. fighting ERA, the Equal mm -hmm. Rights Amendment, back in the late 60s, early 70s. And at the time when Eagle Forum started, they started state chapters. So Eagle Forum of Alabama was started in the early 70s. Our mm -hmm. president is Uni Smith. She okay. is still leading the charge. She's still wow. the president here in Alabama as well as the president of the national organization. And so she wears two hats. She does Good. wear two hats. Good. She is a busy, Good. amazing lady and I'm so blessed to work for her. Um, but we focus on pu uh, public policy issues that affect the family. Mm -hmm. So it could be everything from free speech to uh, sex education to transgenderism. Right. Um, lowering the tax base, you know, all, all kinds of different mm -hmm. issues. Yeah, because basically, when, when we have problems in the country, the stem of the problem is the fact that the family unit is being disintegrated. Yes. And yes. one of the best things we could ever do is come together as a family. Yes. That's right. Yes. And that is, um, our goal is to support and cultivate the family unit. Mm -hmm. And that is what makes society strong and that's really what we advocate for. Mm -hmm. So on the state level, what are some of the things you guys have been active in in the past? Because you're very active when there are legislatures in session. Yes. So over the decades, Eagle mm -hmm. Form has been very involved, especially in education. Um, they had a big role in the Alabama Reading Initiative that took mm -hmm. place, you know, a decade yes. ago or so. Yes. They were a big part of that. Well, that's a very, yes. I mean, that's still alive and well and doing well. Well, actually, Common Core came in and kind of took yeah. that over. but. But we're seeing that that we may be able to push that back mm -hmm. in again. Where it needs um, to also, be. with abstinence-based um, healthcare mm -hmm. in the schools, Eagle Form was really big with helping to get that in Alabama. But in, I took over in 2019 as the executive director, mm -hmm. and I took over in January, and the legislative session began in February. So we just hit the ground running, and we had written a bill on campus free speech. Mm -hmm. We actually saw, even in Alabama, on college campuses, um, really suppression of free speech. You've heard of free speech zones where they mm -hmm. make a little circle for you over in an obscure part of the campus right. where if you want to talk about pro-life things or mm -hmm. things that aren't politically correct, you can go over there and do it. Mm -hmm. And um, we just, that is not what free speech is about. Mm -hmm. And so we wrote a bill and Matt Friday carried it for us in the house and helped us rewrite parts of it and we got that passed. We were really um, working very hard on the pro-life bill that passed this year, mm -hmm. which will be the proper legal vehicle to challenge Roe v. Wade. Right. So, um, so we had some human trafficking bills that we were working on and just a lot you know, of different and, uh, Our viewers don't understand because a lot of times we think of human trafficking, oh, that's over oh. in foreign countries. 
It's alive and well in the United yes. States. Yes, and the majority. And Alabama, sad to yes. say. Yes, Alabama is a, a very big state because we have I-60 and um, I-85. Right. And we are really in the crosshairs. I-10. Yeah, yes. all that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So that is really um, something that we will be focusing on specifically coming up in 2020. Mm -hmm. We've done a lot of research um, and ha are finding mm -hmm. that pornography is fueling human trafficking. And mm -hmm. so we have of a course. resolution that we are... They go hand in hand. They do. Yeah. They definitely do. And I think a lot of people don't realize that, they don't think about it, but this is an epidemic that we are facing in the nation. And so 15 states have passed resolutions declaring pornography as a public health crisis. We will be the 16th to do that okay. uh, when we come out in 2020. Good. Good. We already have our Senate and House sponsors for that. Don't expect it to be a problem to get passed. But once this happens all across the nation, we're trying to get one passed at the national level. And they will treat this issue like they did with smoking as mm -hmm. a public health crisis. So we're just hoping that we can turn the tide to stop some of this um, these awful things that are happening with um, sexual violence oh, sure. across our country. So you're going to have a big event in January. Yes. And I'm going to have you come back near the beginning of January to do that. But if any of our viewers want to be involved or get more information, how do they connect with you Great and question. with the Eagle Forum? Well, my email is becky at alabamaeagle.org. So, okay. of course, people can email me. And we're going to put that on the screen. Okay, yeah. great. And also, our website is... Uh, um, alabamaeagle.org okay and it's easy but we have all kinds of issues there you can see what events we have coming up a big one in january mm -hmm. but i'll be speaking in several places between now and january and then once the legislature starts on the fourth of february we will be active and i send out weekly updates on the legislation that we're watching so people Good. can really stay tuned with what's yeah. happening thank you much and just remember this if values still mean something to you don't take a back seat be active We'll be right back right after this.